bit of a control freak. I like to know what's happening, how it's happening. It helps me get a grasp. But the more I grow into life, the more I recognize that I don't have control over anything, especially not others or what they think. The truth is that everyone has opinions on everything. People have opinions on others' clothes, others' careers, even others' favorite TV shows. And people have opinions on much bigger things than socks matching. Things like women's rights, racial inequality, the death sentence, and young people get stuck in the in-between, too young to vote, too old to be oblivious to the injustices, forced into a space in the middle, having a voice only to be ignored. I want to control my body, I'm told that I can't. I want to make my own decisions, I'm told that I can't. I want to study science, I'm told that I can't. I was promised equal opportunity. I was not promised workplace harassment or disdain in my classes. I was not promised a body that's not my own, a mind bombarded with information. Our generation was not promised hate crimes and discrimination, stuck bet between a dream and a frightened reality, just another in-between waiting to take hold. I hate the in-between. It can't be controlled. There is no certainty, nothing solid. And yet I'm a writer, an artist of my own choosing. Art, unlike the vast unknowns, lies within my grasp, but it only exists in the in-between. It lives in a state of transition, always changing from viewer to viewer, an ever-shifting optical illusion with one message. Hope. Hope in the darkness, hope for the broken, hope for the downtrodden, hope giving a voice to those speaking in whispers, hope that travels from stages, from museums, from classrooms and studios, hope that allowed me to get up on this stage even though I hate public speaking, hope that allowed people to speak out against their abusers, hope that allowed people to protest en masse and make their voices heard, hope that allows for change, hope that gives power where there is none, the ability to share things that were only ever whispered about, deemed too dirty or shameful to be spoken of, hope for the child I was crying in my bedroom who decided to pick up a pen and write, Hope for who I am today, still bruised and battered, but sharing a small part of my fight. Hope for all the times it was easier to be silent than to make others uncomfortable. Hope for all the times there's nothing, when the only thing that's truly mine are these crumpled bits of paper, thoughts hidden in between love letters and to-do lists, an art exhibition taking place in every essay, every Instagram post, every conversation, every heart. So yes, there is no control in life, and yes, we live on a floating rock in space with people set on keeping the silence, but there is art, a revolution in every story, every bit of beauty. Somehow, that'll have to be enough.